Hey guys, welcome back to another creative tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over two dockers that don't have too much use for the desktop user. And they're they're very simple. They're just kind of like um informative right now. But if you are a tablet PC or a tablet user, then one of these dockers might actually be of great use to you. So go ahead, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did update Creative to the newest release, which has a lot of bug fixes, and they also changed this page. And I personally love it because it's not blank, it's not empty. I can just quickly start a new file or bring in my recent documents, and I have the manual right here instead of going to help and getting it and all that stuff. It's all right here for me. So, new file. And as you can see, I did change my layout over here a little bit. This is just a personal preference because I really like this overview and I I think it'll be perfectly fine over here for me. So without further ado, let's go to the first docker, which is the last documents. As you can see, I have all of these thumbnails in here. These are all the documents I've used in the past week or so since I've updated Krita. And it just tells me what I've done in Krita. And this is really helpful to me because sometimes I make text files or promotional images for like my personal work or something like that and I forget if I did it in Krita or in Inkscape or in GIMP. So I'm sitting here like, hey, where would this file be? What did I call it? So by opening up Krita, I can instantly either find out if I made it in Krita or if I didn't. So that kind of really helps me figure out what the heck I did, especially since if it's been a while. And if you have this docker open and you have been working on a file and you hit refresh and you've already saved it and closed it and stuff, it'll pop up in here too. Now at the moment you can't drag and drop these images and you can't right click, it, it, you can't do much at all. And I'm really hoping in, in the future that they can um, add an option to drag this in or at least double click it to open the file in a new panel, which would be really, really nice. That's it for the last documents docker. I'm just going to close it for now. I'm going to back. I'm going to go back and go down to the touch docker. So this is obviously not for the, uh, desktop users, but if you want to use it anyway, I mean, feel free. It's still going to work. Now, if you open this up and it looks like this, that's how it looked for me. Just make this box bigger, and then the little icons will show up. And I will also link to the manual for explanation of what these are like the names obviously we can tell this is um open file save save as undo redo uh this is the opacity and um of your brush or whatever i think yeah the opacity of your brush and all that stuff but this is just for tablet or touch pc users so you don't have if you don't have a keyboard or you don't want to quick going to the buttons up here you can just quick and tap and you're, you can move on and you're done. And that's really it for those two dockers. They're very simple. So yeah, if, um, if you guys have any questions about these dockers or do you want me to come out or cover something else, let me know in the comments below. All my support links are in the description. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.